When a longtime Ferndale restaurant known for their pizza and great patio closed about a year ago, many people were sad. We're talking about Como's, but it recently reopened and we wanted to get a peek inside. So we sent our Michelle Oliver to check it out. Let's dine in the D at Como's. Many towns have a hangout, a place where everyone goes to relax, have a good meal, and a fun time. In Ferndale, that place is Como. So when it closed unexpectedly in late 2017, people were upset. But it wasn't long before it reopened under new leadership. What it did to the community, how it brought different groups of people together. This place was a dining institution for 60 years plus. It's just iconic in Detroit, and so I just want to bring back a little part of history. Zach is an experienced restaurateur, owning several restaurants in the area. So he had a vision for Como's. So the idea is that I kept elements that were still familiar with Como's. So for example, leaving the patio where it is, leaving the front door where it is. I like the fact that it was pizza-centric, but made them my own. While Zach's vision is quite fun and chic, I wanted an expert opinion. So I asked these longtime fans of the restaurant, Actually, I crashed their date. <laughs> in the winter, I think January or February of 1958, we went across the street to Radio City Theater, saw Peyton Place, and then came <laughs> back over here for pizza. It was basically just pizza at first, I think, in Coke. Yeah, and a large pizza was a buck. And now? Oh, we like it. It's really nice. The food is great. Well, now their pizza does cost more than a buck, but it's well worth the price. We're making Detroit style square pizza. This one's called the Roni, correct? Yep, this pizza's called the Roni. So in general, as a chef, I like inconsistency in food. And so as you take bites, you have different experiences. What I do is we hand cut the pepperonis so they're not like machine cut. And so some of them char, some of them are crispy, some of them make that little- the little cup of grease. A little cup of grease that everyone loves. <laughs> You got some differences there already. This is the classic for me. It's thick on one side and then small on the other. Now to build the pizza. This is a three-day ferment sourdough pizza dough, which is different than your normal Detroit style. Yeah, normally it's not three days. <laughs> yeah. And then this has multiple cheeses in it, what you just poured on. It's our house cheese blend. The key with Detroit pizza is you want to make sure and get the cheese yes. to the corners so that you get what's called the frico. The so you frico, actually, there's a name for this? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, it's like crispy cheese. I like frico, that's yeah. awesome. I didn't know there was a name we, for that. We all like frico. Next, in the traditional Detroit fashion, we put on the sauce. And again, same thing with the inconsistency in the sauce. Then we add on the pepperoni, some garlic, and these special Calabrian chilies. Calabrian chilies are a little bit sweeter. They, they have more flavor than most chilies. Into the oven, it goes. It comes out nice and hot with the cheese still bubbling. We finish it with a sprinkle of Parmesan and fresh basil. Still a good date night place? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to try out Como's, we're giving away five $25 gift cards. For your chance to win, go to the Live in the D Facebook page or the contest page at clickondetroit.com. Also, we have a Dine in the D group on Facebook. Come join us and talk about all the best places to eat in town. And Ag, while you're there, if you've got an Instant Pot or a pressure cooker, join that group too. It's got like 4,000 people in it already. Why not? Share recipes.